football type weather people have got their coats and hats and some of them brought blankets and they've come prepared for a good football game tonight and a huge uh, homecoming crowd bob uh, glenwood brought a lot of uh, fans there you've got a near full uh, stands over there and of course lincoln uh, the stands are packed and there's a lot of people standing along the fence and the rail splitters come to the line of scrimmage james leisinger and the men in green with a first and ten after leisinger got that first down James up under center. Now a man goes in motion, and they hand it off to Moses Rogers, and Moses fights his way for a couple of tough yards down to about the 39-40 yard line, or up to the 39-40 yard line. Yeah, he's uh, he wanted to get farther outside. He's trying to get wide, and uh, the Glenwood defense is just uh, not allowing that. They're doing a good job of containing. He did pick up three on the play. Second down for the rail splitters at the 40. Leisinger's got the play. He's back in the huddle. Centers Jared Grover for the Railers. The guards are off and ball and glaze it. Man in motion, Schlater. They give it to Cruz. And Cruz able to hang on to it. He picks up three yards down to the up to the 43-yard line. I tell you, when you try to run the... Uh when you try to run the ball wide, it's a, it's a tough decision for tailbacks, running backs, to know when to try to keep going wide and when to turn it up. And, uh, you know, that's a decision, split decision. They have to make it a, in an instant. And, and sometimes it pays off. Sometimes uh, you only get a couple yards out of it. Big play here for the Railers. Third down. Shirley here wide to the near side. Arm Bruster out on the right side. Leisinger gets the snap. Going to throw it along the sideline. Arm Bruster over his outstretched arms. This couldn't quite nail him. He was open, but now the rail splitter is going to have to punt it away on the fourth down situation with 10.39 left here in the first half. That was the Railers' first attempt of the evening uh, by the air, and it was just a little overthrown. Uh, and it usually takes two or three passes to get that timing down there in, in the game. And uh, unfortunately, it was on third down. Railers are going to punt. They'll snap it back to Andy Cruz. He's got it. Good block by Leisinger on the protection and a good boot there. Going to go out of bounds for Cruz. Well, that's a good thing about that. There's no return. You don't have to worry about a return. And uh, it's going to be down inside the 20, I think. Well, I don't know. It's going to be outside the 20. And officials just keep walking. I don't know how he does that, but the 27. It's on the 27. Chatham leads it 17-0. We want to thank some more of our fine sponsors, the Carpet House, Castle Manor uh, Supported Living, and Fricky Calvert Schrader Funeral Home. As McAdams this time will come out of the gun, first and ten at his own 27-yard line. He's going to throw it out in the flats. Got his man along the sideline, oh, tripped yeah. up. Nice job over on the sideline. I think that was. Uh, I, I think was that's that Imer again. Yeah, Imer tripped think. him up. Yeah, good I, job by Dane Eimer tripping him up. Yeah, I think that's who it is, and uh, it's a good thing he did because otherwise he had a lot of running room out there. But that was just a quick screen out there. They had trips to the left and threw to the shortest man, and uh, he had the other two blocking out front of him plus a lineman, and, Le and uh, Eimer did a nice job of getting through that and making a stop. Football at the 33-yard line. Second down for the Titans. Ken McAdams, the junior, out of the shotgun. He's got three receivers on the right side. He's going to throw it long, but it's a wobbler. It can be picked off. Good coverage by the Railers there. On the coverage for Lincoln, that was number 82. Did a good job. That was Jacob Summers. Got his first start of the season. Yeah, that time they're just throwing the ball up for grabs deep, and uh, the Railers had two men out there actually on the coverage, and, and uh, there was no chance to complete that. So that's going to set up a third and long. No, not that long, third, about five for the Titans. And this is a big play for the Lincoln defense here still early in the game. Nine minutes, 48 seconds left in the first half. Again, the Titans go with three receivers to the right side. McAdams out of the shotgun. He's got one on the left side. And he looks for him, but good pressure by the Railers. McAdams gets out of the way, and now he's got a pass complete to the 40 and a first down, and he's, the receiver finally tripped up. On the tackle for Lincoln, again, that was Dane Eimer. Dalton well, you, Williams made the catch, but again, it was Eimer. You can't fault the uh, secondary for that. They had to cover for a long time. They had him covered for a while, and uh, McAdams couldn't find a receiver, and the Lions pretty much had him bottled up. I thought they were going to throw him for a loss, but he broke out of that, 
sprinter to his right and found the receiver. Clock continues to move. 9.28 left in the first half. First and 10 for the Titans as McAdams comes out of the shotgun again. He's got one lone running back there with him. And he's going to give it to Hammonds. Hammonds stays on his feet and he's grabbed by his arm. I think that was Sawyer who grabbed him by the arm and spun him down. It was Sawyer Conrad. He just grabbed him by the arm and spun him down to the turf. They kind of had him bottled up in the backfield and he got out of that. And then Conrad, he had him by the arm, wouldn't let go. He needed some help to get him to the ground. They finally got him down for no gain. Now Glazik going to check in for Conrad. Of course, Conrad is going both ways, offense and defense, and he needs a, a little break every once in a while, even for just for a play or two. He did a heck of a job last week at Southeast, chasing that quarterback all over the ballpark. McAdams up under center now, and it's a blitz by the Railers. Left side on his feet. The running back's got a first down and more. He's down to the 30-25. May go all the way. Still on his feet. Finally tripped up, and it's a touchdown for Glenwood. Excellent piece of running there by the running back for Glenwood. Haven't been able to pick up his number yet. I think that's Hammonds. Now, uh, 26. 26. That is... Uh, Joey Giovanelli, but they're they're bringing that back, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a flag on the play. I didn't see the holding oh. on the Titans. So they're going to bring the ball back to the Lincoln 48-yard line. Yeah, that's a that's a big break for the Railers there. That's a 10-yard penalty against the Titans uh, from the spot of the foul. So. They only lost a yard from the original line of scrimmage, but they also lost the touchdown as uh, Giovanelli went all the way on that one. They fire the clock back up again. 8-10 left for the first half. McAdams going to come up under center. Oh, they pull Lincoln offside. Yeah, that's uh, it. And it wasn't just one guy. It was two or three that went off, Bob. So. Calvary were coming, and that's going to cost us five yards. Put the football down the Lincoln 43-yard line and a first down for the Titans. 8.05 left for the first half. The Titans lead the rail splitter 17-0. You're listening to 96.3 FM, WLCN, on your radio dial. McAdams out of the shotgun. The junior got the snap. Looks fakes, pumps. Now he's going to throw long, and it is complete. And the receiver goes down to the five-yard line. That was Daniel Helm on a nice pass from Miles McAdams. So it'll be first and goal for the Titans down to the Lincoln six-yard line. Well, once again, uh, he's just throwing that as far and as high as he can, Bob, down the field. And, and they uh, continue to get behind Lincoln defenders. And that's, uh, that's just a cardinal sin for secondary uh, coverage. And he gets the ball over him for the first down deep in Lincoln territory. And coach, they just keep bringing in fresh uh, running backs and receivers. This time split wide to the left. That's going to be Colin Stokes. In the slot, it's Daniel Helm. McAdams up under center. He's got the snap. Pitches it out to the left side. That's Hack. And Hack is finally rolled down by a couple of rail splitters. He got inside the five-yard line. Somebody hit him high around the shoulders and uh, got him down quickly. Not until uh, got down to about the two or three. But uh, kept him out of the end zone. Andy Cruz was one of the guys there, and I think the other one was Dylan Eimer. 31 and 21 for the rail splitters on the tackle. He's, he's in between the two and the three yard line here. Second and goal. Cadams will come up under center. He's got two running backs. He gives right side, and he stood up at the, at the goal line. Good job. A host of railers there. I see five green shirts in there making the stop, and that's exactly what you need every time. And uh, they had him wrapped up and actually might have got him a loss. I picked up the license plates on Cruz and Conrady, but there were three more of them there. I think he lost a yard on that, Bob. Yeah, that's the, when you're on the goal line, you just have to bring a lot of, a lot of bodies. It takes a lot of bodies to get Hammond down. They did a nice job that time. So that's third and goal. McAdams will come up under center again. Takes his time. Now here he goes. He's going to roll right. He wants to throw. He's got plenty of time. Now he's going to take it himself. 
Into the end zone for a touchdown goes Miles McAdams with six minutes left in the first half. That'll make the score 23 to 0 in favor of the Titans over the rail splitters. Well, he rolled right, Bob, looking for a receiver, looking for a receiver, but he was also looking for running room to see if he could run it in himself. And uh, Lincoln just didn't have enough green shirts out there as they tried to cover the receivers, and he just uh, cut straight ahead and got to the end zone. Called it right, Coach. He's a smart quarterback. Here's the attempt on the extra point. This is Chase Volpert, and it's up and through the uprights, and that'll make the score now 24-0 in favor of the Titans over the rail splitters with six minutes left. In the first half, we'll be back and in third. scored again. They lead it 24-0 here with six minutes left in the first half. Back for the rail splitters, Logan Armbruster, Dane Eimer, and Moses Rogers. And Chase Bulpert will get ready to kick it away for the Titans. The Lincoln defense has not been able to stop the Titans uh, hardly at all tonight. They've had four possessions and scored on all four of them. Three touchdowns and a field goal, Bob. And uh, the Railers with six minutes to go here in the second period needs to keep some uh, possession here and try to move down the field. Here's the boot to Rogers at the 10 to the 15. He comes to the 20. Looks for running room to the 25 to the 30. Rogers spun down almost to the 34-yard line goes Moses Rogers in on the tackle for Chatham Glenwood. That was Connor Flash. Yeah, watching Ro or Rogers run with the ball, Bob Moses, if he ever got a, a free, got out in the open, he'd, he'd fly to the end zone and uh, Made a nice return that time. Get it out to the 33. First and 10 for the rail splitters. Leisinger goes into the huddle. Now they split it up. Split here to the near side. That's Evan Shirley on the far right side is Logan Armbruster. Leisinger up under center. Man in motion is Schlater. And Leisinger may have kept it. Cruz came with him. I don't know if he actually handed it to him. I think he kept it himself on that play, Bob. I think he called that right. I'm not sure if that uh, was a plan or if he missed the handoff, but the, he picked up about... Know, James down to the play. 36, picked up three yards. This will be second and seven for the rail splitters. Dane Eimer checking in for Lincoln. For Evan Shirley. Leisner calls the play. And center Jared Grover up over the football. Second and seven for the splitters. Leisinger hands off. Left side man in motion was Moses Rogers, and he gets down or up across the 40-yard line for the rail splitters. He picked up a nice five yards on that, try, trying to get to the outside, and uh, the white shirts are flying to the ball, Bob, as we try to get to the outside, but uh, he still was able to pick up five on the run. Moses yep, Rogers ball, on the carry. Yep, ball spotted right on the 41-yard line. 4.44 left for the first half. The Titans lead at 24-0. Third and three for the rail splitters. James Leisinger up under center. Man in motion. He's got the snap. Hands the Cruz on the left side. He's got a first down. Still on his feet at the 50 to the 45. Down to the 40 goes Andy Cruz. Man, that kid is tough. He had two or three guys trying to hang on and take him down and he just would not be denied. After he got the first down, he was able to wrestle that football down to the Titans' 41-yard line on the near side hash mark. Yeah, he got uh, got into the secondary, and somebody came up from the secondary. Uh, I think that was Hack, and he got a leg, and he kept dragging him for extra yardage, but that's what uh, saved a bigger run for the Titans. Nice first down for the Railers. Armbruster split wide to the right. Eimer here on the near side. Leisinger got a man in motion, gives it to Cruz again. Cruz bucking his way down for another first down across the 30-yard line. Down to the 29-yard line goes Andy Cruz. You know, and, and it's hard for us to see it right up here, Bob, but, but the linemen are doing a decent job at the line of scrimmage on initial hitting and opening a little hole, and Cruz is getting through it in a hurry and then rambling. He's a tough customer. Conradi is up there and left tackle. Evan Offen balls the left guard. The center's Jared Grover. The right guard's Josh Glazik and the right tackle's Austin Brummett. And here comes Leisinger. He's going to keep the football. And he's down across the 20-yard line goes James Leisinger. And another first down. Yeah, they're going to move the sticks. At the 19-yard line goes James Leisinger. 
Yeah, nice 10 yard run. And again, he's uh, seeing they're playing a four man front there, and that's, uh, you know, there's nobody over the center, and those linebackers are getting a little wide. He sees running room, and he's just keeping the ball and going straight ahead. First and 10 at the 19, officials timeout. They got a helmet problem there with one of their players. Uh, Matt and Meyer. Really, uh, Lightinger was one one player away from going to the end zone. The safety came up and got him uh, as he got into the secondary, and that's all uh, saved a t- uh, touchdown for the Titans. So Andy Cruz and James Leisinger have been hauling the football on this series. This time they go Cruz off the left side. Cruz bucks it down inside the 15-yard line. and be close to a five-yard pickup, Coach, and a second down for the rail splitters. Yeah, I think he got inside the 20 down to the 14. And you, you call it right, Bob. He just bucks his way. Uh, you know, he stands kind of tall. If he did a little lower, it'd probably be even more effective. But he's pretty effective as it is. He picked up five. Second and a nickel for the rail splitters. 249 left for the first half. The Titans lead at 25-0, but the rail splitters on the march. Leisinger up under center. Man in motion right. Leisinger going to keep it again. This time he dives down to about the 10-yard line. Now you can you can be sure that at uh, halftime the Titans are going to make some adjustments to uh, keep Leisinger from running up the middle, and so they're going to have to uh, find someone else to pick up the yards. But it's been pretty effective so far in this half. He's just right at the 11-yard line, third and a deuce for the rail splitters. Leisinger with the play from head coach Andy McDonald. Arm to the right, and they keep Shirley in there on the left side. Leisinger's going to come up under center. Cruz the fullback. Man in motion, Schlater. And oh, yeah. throw it up the middle. Yes. Touchdown, Lincoln. Nice Moses play. Rogers from 11 yards out from his wing position goes Moses. And James Leisinger throws the touchdown for the rail splitters. And they're on the scoreboard with six points, 24-6. Titans over the rail splitters with a minute 57 remaining in the first half. Only the second ball thrown all night here in this first half by uh, James Leisinger, and so it was uh, kind of a surprise call, and he hit his tail back out of the backfield. Moses Rogers had to reach up over his head and snag the ball. Nice throw, nice catch. Wide open to the end zone for 11 yards. Well, Logan Armbruster will attempt the extra point. He kicked six of them last week at Southeast. Here's the snap. Ball's down. Kick is up. Looks good, is good. And the Railers are on the board with the score. Titans 24, Rail Splitters 7. We'll be back after this. Tell them about it, Coach. Well, it started a uh, six-minute mark on their own 33-yard line, uh, all on the ground until the last play for the touchdown, but uh, covered 67 yards and uh, just, uh, just over four minutes for the touchdown and uh, a nice drive by the Railers, just what they needed. Railers uh, knew they could do it the last... Uh, Two Friday nights they were able to do it underneath the Friday night lights. And tonight, as Coach told you, 67-yard march to pay dirt and the extra point. Cooper out there on the special teams. 89 for the rail splitters is Austin Schaub. And here come the railers. Another kick uh, down to the 21. They have trouble picking it up. And here come the railers. And they're going to stop him at about the 25-yard line. Logan Armbruster kicked it on the ground again. And not giving their speedsters a chance to run with the football. And it's going to be first and ten for the Titans. Looks like at about the 26-yard line, maybe. 27. Yeah. The, the, what's, what's, what's impressive on that, and it really has been most of the year, Bob, on those kickoffs coverage by the Railers, is they get a lot of green shirts around the ball, and just like they did on that play. There was a lot of people around the ball and stopping. He didn't have any place to run. And, uh, you know, getting them inside the 30 is... Uh, success on kickoff team and one of the guys that's usually there first for the railers is sam tiffany this year now here's a pitch outside for the titans and the railers able to contain and they knock him down for a loss she had another good example bob somebody had him he got loose but there were more green shirts coming from the outside to contain him and stop him and uh stop him really for no gain so it'll be second down for the titans McAdams is going to come out of the shotgun. He's got three receivers on the right side. Throws it up the middle, and it is complete. And a nice tackle there. Moses Rogers on that uh, takedown. So first down for the Titans. Here's 
Here they go again out of the shotgun. <coughs> this time they throw it long up the middle, and no. Nice try. That was uh, Dalton Williams. I tell you, second and ten. He, he had a chance, Bob. It uh, hit his hands there, and uh, he was just kind of falling down and hard to pull it in. But uh, another great throw, Mike McAdams. Uh, again, way downfield, probably 40 yards from the line of scrimmage. Jordan Gesner checks in on defense for the Railers. He's going to be the right defensive end. Second and ten out of the shotgun comes Miles McAdams, the junior. Railers want a blitz. Man goes in motion. Here's McAdams, looks to the right side, throws a bullet up the middle, incomplete. Slater on the coverage. Dane Eimer, who had the last tackle for the Raiders, was up coming up to hit. So it'll be third and ten now for the Titans. They had pretty good coverage that time. If he'd have caught that, he was going to catch a, a shoulder right in the gut right away. But uh, got it was a bullet. He threw a bullet there. It was just hard to handle. Minute eight left in the first half. Titans lead the rail splitters 24-7. Split to the right side is Dalton Williams. They've got a, two receivers on each side. McAdams out of the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. Oh, he's man, he away. got out of it. Now he's going to throw it up ahead, and he's got a guy for a first down. That's a shame. We had him wrapped up in the backfield, and finally they knocked the guy out of bounds. He's inside the 40-yard line of Lincoln. Yeah, they had him boxed up, Bob, just like you said. Uh had him thrown for a loss, but he somehow wiggled away, rolled to his left, and got down to the Lincoln 39. Just uh, He had a guy standing on the sideline just waiting to help out. Nobody there to cover him, and he picked up the first down. And here they come again with the first and 10 of the Lincoln 39-yard line. McAdams out of the shotgun. He's got the snap. Looks to his right. Now he looks up the middle. And incomplete. Good coverage there by the Railers. Garrett Cooper and Dane Eimer were all over him. Yeah, good coverage that time, but boy, it's a scary thing, and Bob, uh, yeah. he's sitting back there looking for receivers, and they're all over the field. They've got them spread all over from uh, sideline to sideline. They're going down running patterns. The quarterback's got to be an outfielder or a third baseman with a gun he's got on him, or maybe he's a pitcher. He might be. I don't know, but uh, he throws a nice ball. Comes the Titans in a hurry, second and ten. This time McAdams going to come up under center. Here comes a blitz by the rail splitters. McAdams rolls to his right. He's got a man open on the sideline. And he's got a first down, and three railers were there to take him down. Schlater was there, uh, and Cameron were there, and Nick and uh, Andy Cruz also over there on the tackle. Just first uh, and ten. Go ahead, Coach. I'll uh, just say it. Uh, I think this they, they're taking a timeout now. This drive started with... Uh, Minute 57 to go, and they've still got almost uh, 41 seconds, 42 seconds. 41 seconds left in the first half. Titans lead at 24-7. We'll be back Coach after Ken did. Schweitzer back here on a homecoming night underneath the Friday night lights. And the Titans on a drive against the rail splitters here. This is going to be first and 10 at the Lincoln 21-yard line. Miles McAdams out of the shotgun. He's got the snap. He's got four receivers out there, and he's got one. And he, he dropped that ball yeah, yeah. incomplete. Right in the bread basket, and it just, got, just went right through to the ground. And uh, uh, Lincoln defender, I think that was... Uh, Armbruster. Came up and gave him a little shot afterwards, but uh, fell incomplete. So it'll be second and ten for the Titans. I think that's Andy Cruz is in there now. Like, oh, yeah, that was Andy Cruz, I think, came up and made that little hit at the end. 21. Here's McAdams. This time he's going to come up under center. Fakes the pitch. Now he rolls right along the sideline. Incomplete on the coverage that time was Nick Cameron for Lincoln. Third and long in their own territory, and that's when he scrambled all alone on the sideline. So they got third and long again. This time they're on their own 22 yard line. Intended receiver was Dalton Williams. Adams goes to the sideline. He's got the play. Third and ten. Coach and he picks it up and lost his helmet. That was Schlater made the initial hit. 
And then Cruz finally wrapped him up, ripped his helmet up to the ball, down back at the 39-yard line. Uh, great pressure in the middle. Uh, there was nobody blocking in the middle, and Slater came up clean, Bob. And and then, uh, I th was that Imer that yeah, put the final touch on the shirt? I think it was uh, Cruz at the end. Slater hit him first, and then Cruz got him. That was a big 13-yard loss on the play. Sets up a fourth and long. 21 seconds. They're taking their second timeout right now. Uh, trying to decide what to do. You know, they're probably going to try to throw one close to the end zone. And a beautiful night here at Hanlon Field on homecoming night. The, the bleachers are full, as you said. People all along the sideline. The weather's, Glenwood, the weather's the great. Drop. It's crisp and cold out there. Perfect. Just right. Timmy just took some water out to the players. Officials out there are talking it over. 21 seconds left in the first half. Titans lead it 24 to 7, but the Railers with a good defensive stand here at the end of the first half. Now, th this is another crucial play for the Railers. You know, if they can uh, go in down only these uh, at, at this score at the half, keep them out of the end zone here the last 21 seconds, it'll be a big boost for the uh, whole team, really. But uh, fourth down, sometimes fourth and long, has been a, been a problem. So uh, they're going to have to concentrate and do a good job putting some pressure on. You know, it's probably going to be a pass. Could be a trick play. It's where you throw in your trick play, your halfback pass, uh, something like that. So you got to be alert. Assistant coach uh, Joe Ryan giving some final instructions to the defense out there. McAdams on the fourth and 23 out of the shotgun. Going to throw it long along the sideline. There's coverage over there, but it's caught in the first down. That's incomplete. Incomplete. He didn't hang on. Daniel Helm. And let's see who that was for the rail splitters getting up off the bottom of the pile there. I think that was Garrett Cooper. Cooper on the coverage for the rail splitters, and he's getting fives as he comes along the sideline of the bench. He might have got a hand in to break it up, but uh, the, the receiver stepped in front of him. He was in good position to make the catch, and uh, Cooper might have just knocked it away at the end. So it's going to be the rail splitters football, first and 10 at their own 34-yard line, 14 seconds left for the first half. Man in motion, Schlater, Leisinger... Capes it, and he's down to the 40-yard line. He bounced off some of the linemen, and then he came around the left side, and he got a nice pick up there down to the 40. So that's the end of the first half with the score. Chatham Glenwood Titans 24 and the Lincoln Rail Splitters 7. We'll be back after these messages.